Hello Java scripters, Bruce here uh, with a short lesson on JavaScript objects. Okay, so let's dig right in. I have just a short HTML document with a script tag uh, on line 8. So let's create a JavaScript object and let's call it student. Okay, now if we do this, we are creating an empty object. Okay an empty object. The double braces signify that we are in fact creating a uh, an empty object. Now keep in mind most everything in JavaScript is in fact an object but we're not gonna go there right now okay. So now that I have my student object uh, declared uh, and by the way you don't have to do that step first you can actually dig in and do what we're doing on line 10 where we're setting the values inside of the object here. So let's do a student. First underscore name colon. Uh, we'll do uh, Bruce uh, Ilgort. Okay. Actually, first name, right? Okay. And then let's do comma. Um, last name. Okay. Last name. Just want to see what's going on here. First underscore name. Good. Okay, and then Bruce, comma, last name, okay, colon, and then we'll do Elgort, okay, good. And then we'll do, uh, we'll do age, okay, and then we'll do uh, 52, and, and then we'll do a gender, okay, gender, and we'll set my gender to male, okay. Now, notice that this, this object has, right, key value pairs, right? The key being first name and the val value being Bruce. The last name key, my last name is Elgort. The age key and the number 52. And the key here, gender and the value, right, uh, male, okay? So there is our friend, the student here. And if we log the student out here, not log them out, but log that variable out to the console, what are we going to get? Let's open in browser, let's uh, go to the console, and you can see here I get an object, okay? And that object happens to be made up of these key value pairs that we spoke of. Okay, that's all well and good, okay? Now, let's do this. How do we get one of those um, one of those keys, right? One of those keys in the student object, okay? Could we do this? Could we say console.log and then student dot last underscore name? Could we do that? Do you, you think uh, that'll work? Let's go back. Let's refresh. And now you can see we have Elgort, okay? So we had the object from the prior console.log and now we are able to access the value of the last name, okay, from the student object, okay? You got that? Okay, so uh, you could do that again with any particular, um, with any particular uh, property, okay, or key, whatever you want to call it. And let's do uh, age, okay, let's do age here. Save, refresh. Okay, and now we get my age. Okay, all well and good. Okay, um, let's say you want to add one, right? Let's say you want to add uh, student dot, I don't know, GPA equals, I don't know, uh, I'm smart, right? Uh, actually, let's make that a numeric value for 4.0. Okay, so now actually, now let's do console.log. Okay, student dot GPA, and let's see if it got added. Let's see if I got added. Ready? Look at that. So we were able to dynamically add, you know, a key to our object, student. Okay, that would happen to be GPA with the value of four. Okay. So let's do another one here. How would you iterate through all of the key value pairs? Right? Key first name, value Bruce, key last name, uh, Elgort key age value 52 etc okay well there is a variant of the for loop that says for x in object and the object uh, being student 
Okay, and then you have your open and close curly braces here. And you could do things, I'm just uh, being fussy here. You could do things like this, console.log, okay. And then the, um, the key, right, let's see what it, whether we're getting the key. Okay, let's do X and let's append on a colon and a space and then a plus sign and then the object, student, okay and then the iterator x there and let's see what we get okay let's see what we get ready so what do we get what do we get we get all of the keys and their values printed out we get all of the keys and values printed out so that that's pretty neat right okay so that's how you can iterate through an object okay now just so you know right this doesn't have to be x right it could be you know um, item okay and I can change this to item and I can change this to item right and we should get the same exact result which we do okay so how do you delete how do you delete you know a key how do you delete a key how do you delete a key how about this delete student student dot GPA okay and then let's print out console.log student.gpa. Let's see what happens. Ready? Undefined, right? Because we removed it here on line 23. Okay? You see that? Okay, check out lines 23 and 24. We issued, this is a little bit weird for JavaScript, right? So it's delete, it's space, the object, and then the property. Okay? Now I, I want to show you just an alternative way, right, to access some of the some of the values here, right? I mean some of the keys and their associated values. Okay, so let's log out, uh, log out to the console, student sub, and let's use square brackets, okay, and not dot notation and first name. Okay, so let's do that. Refresh, and there is Bruce. Okay, let's do another one. Console dot log. Okay, console.log student, and then let's do uh, age, okay, age in quotes, okay, we should get my age, 52, okay, so there you go, okay, so again, um, go back through this example, it's just a very basic uh, example of, you know, creating an object, uh, creating these key value pairs, okay, uh, and uh, accessing the values right for each of the keys okay and then we covered how to delete and add well here on line 16 we added a property and then we iterated through all the properties in the object I showed you on line 23 how to delete okay and I showed you an alternative way to access the items kind of just like um, kind of like what we call a PHP associate array or you know, a hash map in other languages like Java and stuff like that, okay? Uh, one more thing. I, I mentioned in the beginning, right, that you didn't need line 9, okay? So what you could have done, right, is you could have just done var student just like that, okay? And uh, created the object student, right, in one statement like that with all the key value pairs, okay? Uh, I hope this video helped, and I'll catch you uh, in class and get ready for some more videos.